and DeKalb Ag Research supplying Ohio farmers with quality hybrid seed. The Ohio High School Boys Basketball Championship is brought to you in part by Kawasaki, Let the Good Times Roll, and by Toyota. See all the 1982 Toyota cars and trucks at your local Toyota dealer. And by Hemseth Sound Centers. Hemseth has it all together now. And by Central Trust, the financial center. Welcome to St. John Arena in Columbus for what we expect to be a most exciting boys AAA high school basketball championship game. The participants, Roger Bacon High School, the Spartans from the Cincinnati area, and the Barberton Magic from around Youngstown. Both these teams advanced to the final game with last-second wins on yesterday. yesterday. I'm Andy Mack Williams along with Omar Williams, and as we were saying, both of these teams advanced in very exciting style to this final game with great wins yesterday. Barberton did it against Toledo Scott on this 25-footer at the buzzer by Richard Sims. 56-54, Barberton on a last-second bucket by Sims. And Cincinnati, Roger Bacon did it in similar style. They took three shots at the bucket in the late going, and finally it was Bruce Noley who put it in. First it was Rob Niehoff from the corner. He missed it. Greg Schildmeyer crashes in, puts it back off the corner of the boards, and Bruce Noley all alone at the buzzer. He laid it in, and Roger Bacon advances 49 to 47, and we expect a tight one today again, Omar. Andy, I think what would be described as two smart ball clubs playing in the AAA championship. Very, very brilliant ball clubs, good students, good athletes. It should be a great one. We'll be back with opening ceremonies and the starting lineups in just a moment. Petroleum. Fertilizer. Herbicides. New equipment. When corn pays the bills, plant DeKalb XL55A. You can depend on consistent high yield, regardless of growing conditions. Put more corn in your bins, more money in your pocket. Plant DeKalb XL55A. Now, from the other side of midnight comes a new Kawasaki. A Kawasaki with a heart of pure black gold. This is the Kawasaki Spectre. Shaft-driven and powered by the famous Z. The incredible engine that built the Kawasaki legend. Feel the power. Taste the glory. Kawasaki Spectre. Move up or move over. MSAP! MSAP Sound Center has it all together now. MSAP celebrates the coming of the green with big savings on the Emerald of Car Stereo, the all-new Kenwood KRC 711 in-dash cassette receiver, car audio that makes human-like decisions through multi-features and 40 watts. Green tag now at a low $399, only at MSAP, where you save the green. MSAP! MSAP Sound Center has it all together now. Triple-A final should be a close one if history tells us anything. Roger Bacon has won its last three by a total of five points. Barberton has won its last four games by a total of nine points. Let's go to PA announcer Ron Altoff now for the opening ceremonies and introduction of players. To Honor America, you are invited to stand and take our national
In a guard for Susquehanna Roger Bacon High School, number 25, Micah Mortisey. In a guard for Barberton, number 12, Captain Todd Undecker. Just about ready for the opening tip-off and the triple-A final between Barberton and Roger Bacon will continue in just a minute. Now you can have money market yields without sacrificing banking conveniences with Centrifund from Central Trust. Offering a choice of general money market, government securities, or tax-exempt funds. Plus unlimited check writing and total withdrawal privileges, an optional line of credit, free OWL and MasterCard service, and each month a single combined statement of all your banking and money fund activity. Centrifund. High yield investments. Banking conveniences. We'd say the case is closed. The forecast is for more snow and hazardous driving conditions. Watch out for slippery going. We'll make it, Sarge. When people are counting on you to come through, it's nice to have a Toyota Corolla Tercel pulling for you. The 1982 front-wheel drive Toyota Tercel. Toyota's lowest-priced car. The Toyota Tercel. A car that pulls its own weight. And a little bit more. Tercel! Greg Schildmeyer, will, Greg Schildmeyer will go up with David Blanks on the opening tip as we look at the Roger Bacon rooting section. These teams are very evenly matched, both very aggressive defensive teams. And Roger Bacon controls the opening tap. Number 25, Mike Morrissey. On the high post for Noli, on the wing for Bierman. This is Morrissey at the point. He's the only junior on this starting team. The other four are seniors. Here is Schildmeyer. Low for Niehoff. Against the zone, they give it to Morrissey, the jumper, around and good. It is Mike Morrissey who draws first blood, and Roger Bacon leads Barberton 2 0. Now the Barberton offense against the Roger Bacon man to man defense. This is Todd on Decker, the point guard, on the wing for Onisic. Onisic going against Morrissey into the lane. The pump jump won't go, and we have a foul called on Mike Morrissey. I'll tell you, that's one of the things that Roger Bacon could not afford. Let's watch it now. Watch Morrissey get his hand in there. Grabs the hand, a foul on Morrissey, and they simply can't afford the fouls because this is a ball club that has no bench. They actually have a six-man ball, ball club. They can't afford to get in foul trouble. If they do, they will be in serious trouble. This is Todd Onisic, and he gets the first of a two-shot foul. Onisic is a 6'1 junior. Averages about nine points a game did not play too well offensively in their semifinal win over Toledo Scott. Anasik ties it with a couple of free throws. Full court pressure now put up by the Barberton Magic. Beerman is trapped in the corner. They get it ahead for Schildmeyer. Schildmeyer takes it right to the basket, lays it in. I'll tell you, Andy, I don't think you'll find a better ball player, and I'm not maligning anybody else, but Greg Schildmeyer just has all the attributes that a fine ball player needs. He's a good quarterback in football and a great basketball player. He plays excellent defense and loves to drive. Here's Jim Smart out top for Onisic, almost stolen by Bierman. Now on the wing, on Decker, off the glass. It won't fall, and Morrissey crashes in for the rebound. We have a foul called on Onisic. As Roger Bacon, per usual, had great position on the defensive board, and Onisic draws the foul going over the top. You take a look at it. The opposition, there's the foul coming in body contact. The opposition will get one shot, as Andy pointed out. Just great defensive work on the boards. They'll control it coming off that defensive board. Here's Morrissey dribbling to beat the press. In the corner, Bruce Noley, it's short. And the rebound to Ondecker. Roger Bacon leads 4-2. Here's uh, Richard Sims, their best one-and-one -one player, and we have a foul called here, apparently on Barberton as they tried to get the ball back after Sims juggled it. David Blanks was the culprit, I do believe. Blanks reaching in, the big guy. Watch Blanks go after. Little body contact, there's David. Just a bit of too aggressive. And these are two aggressive and scrappy and hustling basketball teams. They have made it here to the finals because of their aggressiveness. There is not an all-stater on either team. There is not a great individual basketball player on either team. But as teams, they hustle, they scrap, and they work. 
Roger Bacon leads four two. We played about two minutes. Here's Morrissey penetrating off to Shieldmeyer. Baseline drive. He circles out top. Off to Shieldmeyer again. He gets it low. Here's Noli. Turn around with a right hand. He got it. That is Bruce Noli. Six to two. Bacon by four. David Blanks cut off at the baseline, and we have a travel call against uh, the Barberton Magics and David Blanks. He's turned the ball over twice now on successive possessions. And Barberton had trouble in their semifinal win with turnovers. They get it in close to Schildmeyer. He drives baseline, and he double dribbles. That's one thing Roger Bacon does very little of. They don't turn it over much. Schildmeyer, that front line is just an excellent front line. Schildmeyer, Noli, and Niehoff, they just do the job up front. Roger Bacon playing that man-to-man, -man, and they love to go belly up one-on-one -on -one against you. Here's Sims against Schildmeyer, and the ball loose on the floor, picked up by Blank. 6-2, Bacon with a four-point lead. This is Jim Smart driving baseline. Out top for Richard Sims, their top one-on-one -on -one player against Schildmeyer. Pop-up jump, good. And that's the first two for Sims. 6-4, Bacon by a bucket. We've played five minutes. Here's Morrissey. Mike Morrissey in traffic. He goes low. Mo Rob Niehoff had it knocked out of bounds away from him. You want to watch the out of bounds play right now as little Rick Beerman will bring it in. They'll move. Watch him. Beerman to Noli out top for Morrissey. Now they get it low for Noli. He loves that turnaround move, but uh, we'll have a whistle and Kicking see what the ball again. And they get the foot in the way all the time. Barberton will have to do a good job of keeping the ball away from Noli. He likes to flash out from that low post to the high post where he's situated right now. On the wing, Schildmeyer open from 15 and won't go. And the rebound by David Blanks. He gets it ahead for Ondecker. Todd on Decker, off for Sims. They swing it to Blanks. The jumper won't fall. And the rebound to Mike Morrissey has been a big factor here early. Morrissey leading the break. Gets it to Schildmeyer. Well, the big guys are running right now. They lead eight to four. And once again, they had one shot down there. That is the Magic team. And uh, Bacon gets the rebound. Roger Bacon of Cincinnati leading 8-4. Here's a baseline drive by Onisic. It won't fall, and Schildmeyer rips off the rebound. Schildmeyer with four points as Roger Bacon has the basketball. Schildmeyer again, the penetration, air ball. The rebound to Jim Smart ahead for Ondecker. He gets it to Blanks, and Blanks takes it low. David Blanks out top for Ondecker into the lane. Here's Onisic, turn around, won't fall. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will be Barberton's basketball. And the Roger Bacon fans right in front of that play were not too thrilled. Mr. John Carr, very, very competent official making the call right on top of it. Jim Smart out top over a screen. They get it in the corner for Sims. Sims missed the shot short. And here's Schildmeyer losing the rebound to Richard Sims. Sims penetrates. Floats up a shot, it won't go, and there's a foul inside against Barberton, and that could be number two on David Blanks. It is, right, Andy, two fouls on David, and Jack Reynolds, the very affable coach of this Barberton team, not too excited about that call. David Blanks is indispensable. He's their biggest player for Barberton at 6'4", and he's their best inside defender and rebounder. Roger Bacon double up at 8'4". Here's Rick Bierman. Up top for Morrissey, running the offense. Now they swing it to Beerman, up on the wing. Whoa, he got it. That's an unorthodox release for Beerman, but effective nonetheless. Ripple the Nets, didn't touch anything. 10-4, Bacon. Time out. There's a break in the action with a score. Roger Bacon, 10, Barberton, 4. One of our network sponsors is the Dayton and Columbus Godfather's Pizza Store. There's nobody's pizza like Godfather's Pizza. It's a pizza you can't refuse. There's nobody's pizza like Godfather's Pizza. Come on, start spreading the news. The talk is so thick, it's incredible. The crust is so tenderly edible. Hey, you don't agree mine's the best pizza you ever tasted. I'll be glad to offer you some uh, encouragement. Godfather's Pizza you can't refuse. For years, people with big lawns have faced the same problem. What to do with the clippings?
Now there's the John Deere six and a half bushel twin banger. Two big hoppers you line with plastic trash bags, so cleanup's neat and easy. It could be the best way ever to take care of your clippings. We think everyone should have one. The twin banger, available for John Deere lawn tractors and riding mowers. We have played four minutes and 47 seconds of basketball in the first quarter. There's the shot. Take a look at the magic shooting, 14% to Roger Bacon Spartans, 71%. Needless to say, they're on top. Roger Bacon comes from the DCL, the Greater Cincinnati League, and their style of play is characterized by strength, patience, and physical play and good defense, and that's what we've seen from Bacon so far. Terry Wiegant, number 10, in at the point guard for Barberton, along with Jack Reynolds, number 32. He is coach Jack Reynolds' son and namesake. A lot of changes for Barberton. They have three new players in the ballgame trying to get something going. They're down by six against the man-to-man. -man. Wiegant drives it low off to Rob Mullet. And he gets it out to Jim Smart. Very aggressive man-to-man -man thrown up by Roger Bacon. Here's Jack Reynolds from the outside. Missed it. And again, Schildmeyer with the rebound. He's got four or five boards already. Well, they get the one shot. We keep pointing that out. But, boy, they just surround that board on defense, and Baker just controls it down there. Barberton in a 2-3 zone. They really don't match up to play man-to-man. -man. They may have to if they get behind in this ballgame. But Barberton is a scrappy team, as we've said. Here's Bruce Noli with a turnaround. Won't fall. And Jim Smart with a rebound. Up the floor for Wygant. Gary Wygant, good with a basketball. Off to Richard Sims. Now to Wygant. There are three new players in for Barberton. Here's Smart going low. Almost tipped away. Turn around. Sims, he got it. That is four points for Richard Sims. He's the second leading scorer for Barberton behind David Blanks. Here's Rick Bierman in the corner for Niehoff. Now Bierman again from 25 and won't fall. Noli with the offensive board. Out of bounds it goes and it is Barberton's basketball. Rick Fairman almost looks like he has peripheral vision. He'll look one place, throw it another place, and usually catches his man. The little guy is great guard, great assist man. This is Wygant picked up by Bierman. Off for Rob Mullet just into the ball game. Now in the corner for Grenells. They give it to Sims, and Sims goes baseline to score his sixth point. Well, the strategy here offensively for Barberton is to get the ball to the man who plays one-on-one -on -one basketball the best, and that is Richard Sims. It is a 10-8 game. Roger Bacon is up by two, and Morrissey throws it away. Morrissey thought Rick was going to break onto the inside, and Morrissey let fly, and it just went out of bounds, and nobody touched it at all. 1.15 left to go, first quarter. Roger Bacon makes probably what will be their only substitu substitution of the afternoon. Don Hausfeld comes in to replace Bruce Noley. Let's see if Barberton plays for one shot with 105 to play. They're down by two. Here is Sims, who scored six. Barberton on a four-point run. Roger Bacon had a six-point lead at one juncture. Out top to Wygant. He gives it to Jack Grenells. Now they go baseline. Here's Sims with a stutter jumper off the rim. No good. And oh, the rebound. Boy, Schildmeyer has been the big force on the boards here. Here is Morrissey. Snake dribbling. He lost it. Now Wygant looking for the break. Off to Jim Smart with 35 seconds. Here is Grenells. A set from the corner. Won't fall. It is Sims on the rebound. He lost it. And we've got a foul call underneath. No, it's a travel against Jim Smart of Barberton. Smart just couldn't control the ball. Tried to move in underneath the basket, Andy, and uh, got caught for traveling. Good call by the officials with 28 seconds to go. Out of control basketball uh, by both clubs, and that's uncharacteristic of these teams. They're basically disciplined and very deliberate. 20 seconds. And Roger Bacon of Cincinnati will work for one shot. They lead by two at 10-8. Down to 15, Schildmeyer. Out for Morrissey, dribbling to the zone. Now Schildmeyer penetrates, and he hits. It is Greg Schildmeyer with six points. And now quickly, Barberton down the floor with three seconds to go. Let's see if Wygant can get off a good shot at the buzzer. Just a bit short. So our... So our score after eight minutes of basketball, Roger Bacon, 12. Wait a minute, we've got a foul here. Why get let the ball go at the buzzer and hit the front rim, but a foul is called on Rick Bierman. And before we go to commercial, before the end of the quarter, Terry Wygant will shoot two. He's all alone out there in a the fishbowl. Didn't bother him at all. 
You can cut the lead to only two. It was 12 to eight. We'll make it 12 nine with that one and could make it 12 10 right here. Second foul shot is no good. So Wygant gets one of two. And our score after eight minutes of basketball, Roger Bacon 12, Fiber to nine. We will continue in just a minute. The Hemsath Sound Centers have it all together. The finest in car stereo and home video equipment and accessories. Enter new galaxies of home entertainment with an Atari video game now at Hemsath only $149.95. Plus, all Atari game cartridges now reduce 20% in price at Hemsath, the Tri-State's Atari headquarters. Whatever your needs, it's all here because Hemsath has it all together. Hemsath! Hemsath Sound Center has it all together now. Ta-da! Want to hear some really great entertainment? McDonald's can help you get some with these terrific Magnavox values. It's the great entertainment saving spectacular. You get a great entertainment stamp like this when you buy any sandwich or breakfast entree. Save your stamps in this saver card and you can buy any of these fine Magnavox products by mail at great savings. For instance, this Magnavox black and white TV, just $59.88 plus 16 stamps. Hurry to McDonald's now for some of the most entertaining meals in town. Start of the second quarter, Bob Callahan, head coach of Roger Bacon. Incidentally, one of the favorite chants of Barton is, Barberton is Fry Bacon. That doesn't mean too well with the Spartan. Underway in quarter number two from St. John Arena in this Triple A Boys High School Championship game. Bacon controlling the tip in their brown and yellow. Over for Schildmeyer, his jumper air ball. And Niehoff tried to keep it in, put it right to Rob Mullet. Up the floor comes Wygant, who has replaced on Decker and continues here in the second quarter. He came on with about three minutes to go, and he did a good job of getting the ball to this man, Richard Sims, number 24. Off to Jack Grenells. He gives it to Blanks. Now to Grenells, a set from 20. Around it out. Mullet with a follow. Good follow by Rob Mullet. I'll tell you, he was right there to get the rebound, and they didn't block him out that time. 12-11. So it's a one-point ball game. Roger Bacon is led by as many as six. Inside for Noli. Turn around, jump. It rattles through. That is the second bucket for Bruce Noli. Give him four. And Bacon builds up a three-point lead at 14-11. David Blanks, number 50 for Barberton, playing with two fouls. They give it to Sims, going one-on-one -on -one into the lane. Yes! And that's eight points for Richard Sims. Oh, this is a good ball game. Two good ball clubs right now, 14-13. Sims has scored eight against maybe the best high school defensive player in the state, Schildmeyer. Now they go baseline for Morrissey, a left-hand hook, and Mike Morrissey gets it. And the action is heating up. It is 16-13. Morrissey drives that baseline beautifully. Very quick first step, he showed it there. Here's Richard Sims. Out top for Wygant. Off for Sims. They leave him open, and, and he won't make it. Schildmeyer again with a rebound. He's been so tough on the boards. They are boxing out Noli, but Schildmeyer's crashing in to get the lion's share of the boards. Here's Noli. They give it to Schildmeyer. He throws up another air ball. I'll tell you, Greg gets inside, but he's been off his shooting at all, and he is shaking his head as he comes down. He's a better shooter than that. He only shot four out of 16 in the semifinal game. Here's Mullet, and Mullet gets his second basket. Rob Mullet doesn't play much. At least he didn't in the semifinal game against Toledo Scott, but he's been a big factor here early in the second quarter. It's a one-point game again. Here is Noli from the dead corner, and Bruce Noli misses. And the rebound goes to Richard Sims of Barberton. The Barberton Magics with the ball. And they have really settled down after a slow start. Here is Sims dumping off for Blanks. And Wygant gets the rebound to Mullet. Three-second violation, just hanging in the lane too long, and there's a turnover. Why coaches get gray, Jack Reynolds not happy on that one. 16-15, Bacon by a point, down to 5-15 to go in the first half from St. John Arena in this Triple-A championship game. Our Double-A champion is Dayton Roth High School. Here's Beerman from the outside, and nothing but net for Rick Beerman. Give him four points. You know, Rick Beerman is the only one of the Bacon starters who does not play on the Roger Bacon football team. Right. They're all uh, wide receivers, quarterbacks, ends, good football players, and good basketball players. Good reason for Beerman not to play. He's 5'11", <laughs> 145. 
to kick extra points. He could be the kicker. Here's Mullet. The ball tipped, but Wygat keeps it in. Wygat's done well at the point guard. Now we've got a foul on Noli as he reached in on David Blank. That's three fouls on Roger Bacon, as we said. Uh, they can't afford the fouls, but number three called against this ball club. They played almost nine minutes yesterday before they committed their first personal foul. Three team fouls on both teams. Roger Bacon proves that you can play tough, sticky man-to-man -man defense and not take fouls all over the floor. There's another guy who espouses that philosophy, Ned Fowler of Tulane in the Metro Conference. Here's David Blanks. He tried to pump, but Morrissey make that Niehoff picks up the personal foul. That is the first on Rob Niehoff. Well, they're spreading them out. They've got one on four different guys. There's Rob Niehoff, senior 6'3". There is a timeout. We're going to keep it right here with the score 18-15 as they gather around head coach Bob Callahan, and there's a good look at the Magic. I love that name, Andy, the Magic. You don't hear that very often, and uh, they've performed a lot of Magic along the way this ball club has. You know, they were 2-3. and three. Barberton was 2-3 and three at Christmas time, and their coach, Jack Reynolds, has been around for a long time. Uh, he said he would have been satisfied with a 500 season, but they came back and played great ball, and uh, in fact, they upset three of the top ten teams in Class AAA in the playoffs. They lost three of their first five games of the year, then they won 13 in a row, found themselves, uh, put it together, apparently. Talk about crazy fans. There's some people who were no doubt infected by the Cincinnati Bengal fever, Bengal mania down at uh, in Cincinnati last year, and they've uh, had it carry right over to Roger Bacon basketball. Jack Reynolds has won 444 ball games as the coach of this ball club. Uh, very affable guy. He's been around, as you mentioned. His son plays for him. His son Jack made an awful big basket in tournament play that won a ball game for him in last eight seconds. So it's a great team effort. Uh, the Magic's out of Barberton. You know, Barberton won a state title in 76 under Jack Reynolds, and they were runner-ups in 77, but for Roger Bacon, it's been 43 years. They were back, they were here in Class A in 1939. They beat Middletown's Middies in 1976, 82 to 70, and speaking of Middletown, tonight, Middletown Fenwick, the addition, will be playing in the state Class A championships against Racine Southern and will be here. There's a look at some rather startling statistics. 33 and 56. Byrton has picked up their shooting. Roger Bacon has tailed off a bit. Here's David Blanks missing the front of the first of a two-shot foul. Blanks averages almost 14 points. He has yet to score. And he misses both of them. So Blanks has not been a factor offensively. And he is their leading scorer. Barberton still in the 2-3 zone. Roger Bacon up by three. Off to Schildmeyer again the drive, and he draws the foul. No, nope, they call a travel on Greg Schildmeyer. I think he tried to go through a crowd there. Watch now. He just tries to get a, through a crowd. Watch, Greg. They called the travel before he made the shot. Good call by the officials in heavy traffic. Here is Richard Sims. Out for Wygant, who's taken over at the point guard. Now they get it to Sims, who ran all the way through to the far side of the offense. Again, Wygan. Now to Grenolls, the jumper from long range, and he missed it. And missed it badly. Back comes Roger Bacon. Both teams having difficulty buying baskets now. Here's Beerman, out to Morrissey. Here's Beerman again. Oh, way deep water. Rebound, Niehoff, he got it. And Rob Niehoff gets his first two points. So it's 2015, Bacon by five. About 3.20 to play in the first half. This is Sims, out to Wigan. He drives, kicks it back to Sims. Sims, he can't get it. Comes off to Jack Reynolds. Reynolds, now to Weekend. Off to Sims again from 15. He got it. And Richard Sims now with... 10 points on the ball game to lead all scores. Schildmeyer with six to lead Roger Bacon. Here's Morrissey up against Jack Reynolds. Off for Schildmeyer. This is Niehoff. He got it. Beerman. Rick Beerman Check popped that in. Rick Beerman from the wing, and they're leaving him open. They're not getting over as they reverse the ball against the zone, and Beerman has six points now. This is Barberton with the basketball. They trail by five. Jack Crennels. And the coach's son gets his first two. 
They've been setting him up. Barberton has four players jumper. waiting to come in over there. They're going to get four new ball players in. Here's Schildmeyer driving baseline. The jumper is in the air and good. And Greg Schildmeyer now has eight points for Roger Bacon. It's a 24-19 lead for the Spartans. On the wing, it's Richard Sims. He gives it to Wygant. Back to Sims, taking it low. Now on the high post for Blanks, an air ball. And David Blanks continues to struggle offensively. Well, a foul has been called. Four new faces coming in. Well, they've been in there before, but they're getting a rest right now. All sorts of substitutions as Barberton goes for a better jumping lineup. A couple of players who have not performed in the tournament are off the bench in Alvis Walker and Dale Ray. With the basketball is Mike Morrissey for Bacon. Off for Bierman on the wing. He's been hot from there. Now Schildmeyer tried to go low. It comes off to Niehoff, and he scores. Again, Roger Bacon showing that superiority on the boards at both ends of the floor. On Decker back at the point guard to Todd Onasek. Onasek double teamed in the corner as Roger Bacon is playing a little bit of zone now. Off to On Decker. They get it on the wing for Sims. Now to Jim Smart, the baseline jumper, and he is deadly from there. That's the first bucket for senior co-captain Jim Smart. We've got one minute to play in the first half, and Roger Bacon leads by five, and they throw it away trying to set up a baseline play. Back come the Barberton Magics with the basketball as uh, veteran point guard Todd Ondecker. Now they get it to Smart into the lane for Onasek. Onasek. He comes up short and back comes Roger Bacon on the break. This is Beerman. Beerman with a layup. It won't go. Back the other way. On the Barberton Magics, it's Sims and he misses the shot. The ball loose on the floor off to Smart. Here's a shot from the outside by Alvis Walker. It won't fall. And it's stolen back by Ondecker. Todd Ondecker with his first basket as he stole the ball away after Roger Bacon got the rebound. It is 26-23. Bacon leading by three with 10 seconds. He'll go for the one shot. Schildmeyer to Morrissey. Now they go to Niehoff. Niehoff, he got it with two seconds remaining. And so Rob Niehoff has come on to score six points here in the second quarter. As Roger Bacon has a five-point lead with one second remaining. Let's see if Barberton can get off a decent shot. They give it to Sims, a long push, and he just missed it. Richard Sims at the buzzer. And have we had an intense first half of basketball in this AAA final? Roger Bacon leading by five points at 28-23 over the Magics of Barberton. And we are going to be talking with Bob Callahan, the Roger Bacon coach in just a second. Let's go courtside to Omar Williams. I'm with Bob Callahan. Bob, thanks for stopping by. An emotional first half. Is your ball club doing what you want them to do? Well, we've, we've been doing pretty much what we want to do, but we still have a couple shots that we don't really want our kids to take. I think we'd be, we'd be a little bit uh, better off if we just take our, some of our shots under control. Uh, uh, we, we're doing we're doing pretty much what we want, but we just have a few shots here and there that are that are aren't the type we really want to take, and uh, that's what we're going to tell them at halftime. Any uh, from the standpoint of sequence, is the game plan going accordingly? Except that yes, it is. Uh, we've got a few baskets off us that we don't really want. Uh, scrap. They just took one here on the end of us, uh, right here at the end of the quarter. We had possession. A kid took it away from us and then scored a layup, and we really didn't want that, uh, but. We'll take the five-point lead at halftime. Bob, thanks for stopping by. Thank Good you very much. You. Bob Callahan, head coach of the leading Roger Bacon Ball Club right now, 28-23. Let's go back to Andy McWilliams. So, it, so it's a five-point lead for Roger Bacon at the half of this AAA championship game. And one of your network sponsors is DeKalb AgriSearch. Sunshine! You can depend on Betty when you're out in the field. And DeKalb XL61 for big yield. You can depend on your neighbors to give you a hand. And DeKalb XL61 to stand. 
You can depend on the apples that grow on these trees. And XL61 to fight disease. Continue in just a minute. With police clearing the race course, Dan Gurney and his Toyota Supra challenge the streets of Long Beach, home of the Toyota Grand Prix. It takes the right stuff to take on a challenge like this. Dan is heading for the Queen Mary. The race circuit tests Supra's twin cam six-cylinder power. Tight turns test Supra's independent suspension. And changing road surfaces challenge Supra's integrity. The new Toyota Supra. The right stuff. Oh, what a feeling. Supra. Now you can have money market yields without sacrificing banking conveniences with Centra Fund from Central Trust, offering a choice of general money market, government securities, or tax exempt funds, plus unlimited check writing and total withdrawal privileges, an optional line of credit, free OWL and MasterCard service, and each month a single combined statement of all your banking and money fund activity. Centra Fund. High yield investments, banking conveniences. We'd say the case is closed. Andy Mack Williams and Omar Williams with you from St. John Arena. We're at halftime of the boys' Triple A championship game with the Cincinnati Roger Bacon leading Barberton by a 28 23 score. And one of the big stories, Omar, the lack of offense from David Blanks, their tallest player and their leading scorer. Blanks went to the line, missed both free throws, but they're not getting the ball to Blanks in the spots where he likes to shoot it. I enjoyed talking to Bob Callahan. He said uh, our game plan is going according to Hoyle, what they wanted to do, but he said uh, they are taking some shots that he's not too happy about, and uh, we saw that. I think one of the fellas you pointing out, and I, I keep uh, applauding him because I think he's an excellent ball player, but uh, Greg Schildmeyer has been off his shooting, and he missed, missed the iron a couple of times even. What uh, Schildmeyer has been lacking offensively, and I agree with you, he's taken some inopportune shots. He's made up in his rebounding. Uh, we'll wait for the official stats, but I'd, I'd guess he has seven or eight rebounds in the first half. Well, the front line of Rob Niehoff, Bruce Noley, and Greg Schildmeyer has just been superb for this ball club all year long. And uh, as you pointed out, uh, they've got a six-man ball club, really. Don Hossfeld's the only one really comes off the bench. He spells most of the time Bruce Noley, who needs a rest. But uh, from those standpoint, the ball players are staying out of foul trouble. Uh, they're playing a very, very physical ball game against a team of the Barberton Magics, and uh, they've had a lot of magic. And because of five-point deficit right now, I'll tell you, Jack Reynolds and company right back in this ball game. They took a while to find themselves, but when they did, uh, they got real close, came back, and then a couple of cheap baskets at the end by both ball clubs made the five-point spread. You know, Barberton beat a much taller and probably more individually talented Toledo Scott team yesterday, 56-54, and they trailed almost all the way in that ball game too. So don't count Barberton out. The five-point lead for Bacon is certainly not a safe one. It is 28-23, Roger Bacon over Barberton at the half, and one of your network sponsors is DeKalb AgriSearch. Acres of gold keeping America going. Hey, Mom, when do we eat? Acres of gold keeping the trade winds blowing. Go on. Thanks, Grandpa. Acres of gold keeps the economy growing. I'm going to sit by you, Grandma. Oh! It's a great feeling knowing we've got acres of gold. The cow, as much a part of American farm life as Evan's supper with the family. It's a great feeling knowing we've got acres of gold. We'll continue in just a minute. Ham 
Sunset Sound Center has it all together now. Celebrate the coming of the green with Savings of the Green at Hemseth. Domestic or import car owners, turn them green with envy with a Craig AM FM stereo cassette player. Green tag now at only $99.95. Craig quality with multi features for imports or domestic drivers. Save the green now at $99.95. Hemseth. Hemseth Sound Center has it all together now. Now, from the other side of midnight comes a new Kawasaki. A Kawasaki with a heart of pure black gold. This is the Kawasaki Spectre. Shaft-driven and powered by the famous Z. The incredible engine that built the Kawasaki legend. Feel the power. Taste the glory. Kawasaki Spectre. Move up or move over. John Arena on the Ohio State University campus in Columbus. Our second of three games on the day. In double-A earlier, Dayton Roth was crowned champion. A 68-56 win over Youngstown Rayon. This is the triple-A game coming up at 8 tonight. On most, if not all, of these same stations will be the A final. Middletown Fenwick against Racine Southern. Omar, we've got some statistics that uh, will bear watching and looking at here. Well, it bears time. what you said a moment ago, too. We can take a look at some percentages. Uh, the field goal percentage for Barberton, 34%. Obviously, that's uh, not what Jack Reynolds would like to see. On the other hand, Bacon at 60%. Free throws, Bacon hasn't been to the line. Barberton's three out of five. So uh, the little bit story there. As far as the rebounds, 15-14, very close. And in Roger Bacon's case, of the 14 rebounds, you pointed out Greg Schildmeyer getting inside has five of those 14. Turnovers, Bacon... Uh, uh, dubiously, it has the dubious distinction of leading six to three, and uh, those things will backfire on you quite often. But all in all, stats pretty close, except for the uh, the shooting percentages, and they're only five down. Here comes the Bacon boys back. The Spartans of Roger Bacon filing out of the dressing room. They lead it by five, 28 to 23. Roger Bacon had a three-point lead after the first quarter at 12-9, and now they're ahead by five after 16 minutes of basketball in this Triple A final from Columbus, Ohio. We'll be back with second half action. One of your network sponsors is the Dayton and Columbus Godfather's Pizza Store. There's nobody's pizza like Godfather's Pizza. It's a pizza you can't refuse. There's nobody's pizza like Godfather's Pizza. Come on, start spreading the news. The talk is so thick, it's incredible. The crust is so tenderly pitiful. You like it? Oh, why don't you have some more coke? Ooh, we like it. I mean, we love it. Oh, I love it. Petroleum. Fertilizer. Herbicides. New equipment. When corn pays the bills, plant DeKalb XL55A. You can depend on consistent high yields, regardless of growing conditions. Put more corn in your bins, more money in your pocket. Plant DeKalb XL 55A. We'll continue in just a minute. Perpetrators? Oh, I don't remember, but the car was a Toyota Celica GT liftback. The uh, perpetrators? Well, Celica had retractable headlights. The perpetrators? Lovely car in there. The unforgettable Toyota Celica. It's the right stuff. A little too right. Oh, 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 Celica. Toyota. McDonald's meals have always tasted great. But now you can turn them into great sights and sounds, too. It's the Great Entertainment Saving Spectacular. You get a great entertainment stamp like this when you buy any sandwich or breakfast entree. Save your stamps in the Saver Card, and you can buy any of these fine Magnavox products by mail at terrific savings. For instance, this Magnavox Skymaster cassette player, just $35.88 plus 12 stamps. Hurry to McDonald's now for some of the most entertaining meals in town. Back at courtside, 16 more minutes of basketball. Roger Bacon and Barberton, the Magics and the Spartans for the AAA championship here in the state of Ohio, the Ohio High School Athletic Association. It has been the domination really around the boards at vital times. As we said, the rebounding's pretty even, 
but they have been able to contain Barberton to one shot. Now the Magics have to come from behind. It should be an exciting 16 minutes, Andy. Good first half for Rob Niehoff of uh, Roger Bacon. Four for four from the field and three rebounds for eight points. And Mike Morrissey of Bacon had five assists in that first half. The leading scorer, Richard Stems of Barberton, he scored 10 on the ball game. And Barberton has got to get some more balanced scoring and some more input on offense from David Blanks to get back into this game. They're not very far out of it, though. And on the opening tip, Roger Bacon controls. The Roger Bacon Spartans lead it by five at 28-23. And Rick Bierman takes it out toward the midcourt line. Roger Bacon trying to pull this Barberton team out of their zone. Here's Noli with a turnaround. And Bruce Noli has six points. Well, Bob Callahan said he wanted a better selection of shots, and he got off started right there with Bruce Noli popping one in. This is Todd Ondecker penetrating out to Sims. The junker, jumper won't fall. And Noli with a rebound. He gets it to Morrissey. Roger Bacon running. Now Morrissey feeds baseline to Schildmeyer. Head fake goes low off the glass. And Greg Schildmeyer now has 10 points. Oh, they're coming on strong here. The Bacon boys lead by 9, 32-23. And Roger Bacon is really doing a number in close to the basket. Off to David Blanks, he drives, he gets his first two, and he is fouled in the process. So David Blanks is in the scorebook, and he's going to have to go to the basket more. David Blanks with his first basket as he took it low and laid it off the glass, and Niehoff picks up the personal, that's his second, as Blanks completes the three-point play. Now Jim Smart is back in the ball game for Barberton. He's a starter, and he replaces, Al replaces Alvis Walker. Full court pressure thrown up by Barberton. Roger Bacon, a good ball handling team. They usually don't turn it over much against the press. They get it up the floor to Noli, quickly to Schildmeyer. Schildmeyer in traffic to Niehoff, and Niehoff dribbles right out from underneath, gives it to... Beerman and Beerman missed the shot from outside. And back comes Barberton. It's a six-point Roger Bacon lead. Off to Richard Sims. Now to Blanks. And Blanks misses. Off to Ondecker, and he travels. He travels. It looks like at halftime, Reynolds says, David, get in there and start shooting. Let's be a little aggressive. And he has been so, so far early here in the second half. Here's Bruce Noli inbounding against the press. Off to Morrissey. Mike Morris, he didn't score much in the first half, but he had five big assists. They get it to Schildmeyer, he takes it right to the basket. And that gives him 12. Why, Greg Schildmeyer wastes no time, he goes right to the hoop. And a little contact does not frighten him, he's a football quarterback. Off to Sims, open on the wing, the jumper, yes. That is 12 for Richard Sims. Six-point lead, 34-28 for Roger Bacon. Well, the tempo really picking up as Barberton is going full-court pressure and Bacon is having no trouble in getting the ball down the floor. Break it up in a hurry. Barberton, here's Niehoff for the shot. I should say Beerman. Rick Beerman with eight points over the zone. He's been tough from that wing position. He has a rather unorthodox release on the shot, but it's effective. Here is a long, deep-water shot by Sims. He missed the basket. Bad choice of shooting there, Andy. That was a bad shot. It's an eight-point lead. Fast break for Bacon. Stutter shot in the lane, and let's see how they're going to call it. The it, was, foul. it was Mike Morrissey. He is fouled in the act. Jim Smart picking up the foul. That is the first personal on Smart as number 14, Alvis Walker, checks back in, and David Blanks will get another rest. So Mike Morrissey will go to the line for the Roger Bacon Spartans. He scored two, his first trip to the line, and he misses the first of a two-shot foul. Mike Morrissey, the only junior in the starting lineup. Everybody else is a senior. And Morrissey also plays football for Bacon. He's a split end. The second foul shot is good. So it's 37-28 Bacon with their longest lead at nine points. They led by five at the half. 
Off to Ondecker, now to Sims has moved outside against the Roger Bacon zone. Onasek with a shot. And they call the charge, I guess, against Onasek. Good position on the part of Beerman, number 11. And this Roger Bacon team plays excellent positional defensive basketball. They're a well-disciplined ball club, well-coached. Typical product of the Cincinnati GCL League. Now they go low for Morrissey. And Niehoff, I should say, on the follow, and we have a foul called on Smart inside. That is the second quick foul on Jim Smart, number 52. Let's watch Jim Smart right here in the action underneath the basket. He reaches in, and Jim really didn't think he fouled, but the foul actually, I think, was before the shot was made, but they're going to give him two in the action. He reached in, caught him on the elbow. First one is good by Rob Niehoff, give him nine points. And Roger Bacon is having no difficulty splitting this press put up by Barberton. And Barberton is having trouble getting down the floor, covering on the easy baskets inside. Here's Ondecker over the zone, and off the front ribbon, good. Back to a nine-point lead, 39-30. Here's Beerman across for Bruce Noley. Now they get it across the timeline. Here is Mike Morrissey. His shot won't fall. Rebound to Bruce Noley of Roger Bacon. It is 39-30, Bacon by nine. We are down to 4.35 to play in the third quarter. As they try to force it inside, it's intercepted by Albus Walker. Nonchalant pass by Mike Morrissey there. On Decker against the zone, off for Sims. Here's On Decker again, he missed this one. And Gilmeyer crashes the boards. And we'll have a jump ball. Boy, Schildmeyer got way up there and lost his balance coming down. Watch Greg go up in the air here against Jim Smart. Two fine athletes, and they just struggle for that ball. And there goes Greg, and he just looks up and jump ball called by Jim Vandegrift, working the ball game along with John Carr. It is Schildmeyer and Smart going up on the jump. And it's controlled by Barberton. The magics of Barberton. This is Terry Wygant just into the game. High post for Walker. Off for Grenells. Jack Grenells has just come in, number 32. Long deep water set shot, won't fall. And Niehoff gets the rebound. Off to Schildmeyer, double team to the backcourt. Here's Beerman, he got through traffic nicely. Little Rob Beerman. Would you believe Rick Beerman? Here's Mike Morrissey, high post to Nolte, kicking out to Beerman, Beerman! Well, that was his game all the way. He brought it down, went through the crowd, got in the corner, made the shot. He has shot well from the outside. And give Beerman 10 points on the ball game. And Roger Bacon enjoys an 11-point lead. That is their largest. Now Wygant gets it for Reynolds. Here's Wygant from 16, rims the hoop. And Schildmeyer again clears the board. Now Beerman against pressure, he gets out of a trap, he gets it off to Morrissey, now to Schildmeyer, layup good! Oh, well, they're tearing him up now, they're just doing everything right, and Grenell's apparently not going to call a timeout, here's Sims. Schildmeyer with 14, here's Sims with an air ball and a rebound to Mike Morrissey. Oh, that's a bad shot. Definitely a force on that shot, and Roger Bacon coughs it up, we've got a foul on Schildmeyer here. Roger Bacon just dominating the defensive board, Omar. As Barberton is getting only one shot at the basket, and at that, it's not a very good one. No, and they're taking their pressure, and they're pushing their shots, and they're not taking good shots. Uh, they've got to settle down. They're 13 behind, and uh, they could be routed here if they don't put it together. 43-30. Roger Bacon on top in the third quarter. Here's Sims. What a move to the basket. Well, that's what they need. Get inside a little bit more. 14 for Richard Sims. And again, that trap zone press. Here's Bruce Noley, the big guy, over the timeline. He gets it to Mike Morrissey. Uh, Roger Bacon, basically a five-man basketball team. They get it to Noley, baseline, Schildmeyer, and he is fouled, I believe, by Smart along the baseline. I am, I am shocked that Greg Schildmeyer has not gotten a lot of interest from Division I schools for his basketball ability. Schildmeyer here going baseline. What a move. 
Smart got him apparently before he got that shot away, but he's going to the line. He was grabbed by the arm, but you're so right. I, uh, I'm very high on this kid. He just does everything well. Half the time you don't know he's out there, but does he get the job done? Schildmeyer might need to work on his shooting a little bit, but certainly he is sound defensively, and that's very rare in a high school player, as he scored 13. Well, we've got Schildmeyer for 15 in our book. Well, we've got six, that 16. 16, 16 right now, yeah, 16 points. And that is his average on the season, the leading scorer for Bacon. Here's Alvis Walker with a jump hook, and the rebound is pulled off by Niehoff, and again, Barberton just getting that one shot at the basket. Here's Morrissey dribbling through traffic, and Roger Bacon has had absolutely no trouble with uh, the full court pressure of Barberton. Here's Beerman passing low for Schildmeyer. They've got a charge on Schildmeyer. I think that's, uh, well, that's just two, I, I guess, on Greg. We'll have to wait and see. Yes, two. Timeout. There is a timeout on the floor with a score. Roger Bacon, 45. Barberton, 32. One of our network sponsors is the Cal Bag Research. You can depend on Claire when the judging is done and big yields with DeKalb XL 71. You can depend on this farm for some real fertile land. And DeKalb XL 71 to stand. You can depend on these when you don't want to freeze. And XL 71 to resist disease. Bring me back to a time and a place where the folks all really show they care. Bring me back to a Bob Evans restaurant and a country cooking there. Come to Bob Evans where a big country breakfast includes refills on coffee. And we'll even give you one for the road. Bring me back to good old fashioned Bob Evans Farm. The Spartans have outscored the Magics in the second half, 17 to nine, and with that five-point lead at halftime, they've built up a 13-point lead with a minute 58 left to go in the third quarter. And Barberton will put the ball in play. This is Terry Wygant, who has played about half the game at the point guard for the usual starter, Todd Ondecker. Here's a jump by Smart, and Jim Smart gets his second basket. He's got four points total. And again, the full court pressure. Take a look at this, Andy. Roger Bacon shooting about double what they shot in their semifinal win over Lima Senior, 70%. And Barberton just having no luck at all. Long baseball pass. Here is Niehoff. What a move. He faked in midair and put it off the glass, and Rob Niehoff has 12. Well, they're just tearing up the press right now, getting a man loose like that. They just don't get back on defense. This is Sims against good pressure from Schildmeyer. Missed the shot, and Jim Smart gets the foul. So two straight buckets for Jim Smart. And again, Noli inbounds to Schildmeyer. They're trying to trap somebody in the corner, but Roger Bacon is too smart for that. And Schildmeyer gets it over the timeline without any damage. It is an 11-point Bacon lead. 47-36, one minute to play in the third quarter, and Roger Bacon's going to spread it out maybe. Go for one shot. No, it's knocked away from Morrissey. Here's Anasek. Anasek missed the shot. He's fouled in the act by Mike Morrissey. Watch the play here by Todd Anasek. He just did it at both ends. He broke up the play from behind, got the ball, came in, and there's the foul coming down. Body contact. Well, I don't know. He didn't touch him too much. Let's try it again. I guess, I guess he got him. I don't know. I didn't see where he got him, but uh, he's going to get two. So Todd Anasek will make his second trip to the line. He's two for two, makes that three for three on the afternoon. Anasek averages almost nine points a ball game. He scored only three with a chance to make it four. And the second foul shot is perfect. And so Barberton has it down to nine points. And again, that hectic full court pressure as Beerman is trapped in the corner. He gets it ahead. They've got a two-on-one as Morris. He takes it to the basket. And he is fouled by Wygant. I really think Terry Wygant was sort of a 
victim of circumstances there. He was where he shouldn't be, but he came in from the back to take a look at it. Wagon trying to get in front. Puts an arm over there. Oh, caught him on the wrist, no doubt about it, but he did get in front. The foul on Wigan. He took over the path, and going to the line will be Mike Morrissey. Morris, Morrissey has scored only three points, but his floor game has been excellent. Five assists in the first half. First foul shot is good. Can't say enough about the Bacon guards, Beerman and Morrissey, and the way they've handled the pressure. They've broken it up every time, Andy. He just brought it down, and they've had a lot of two-on-one breaks. Second foul shot won't fall. Jack Reynolds with a rebound. Here's Todd Onisek. He gives it for Reynolds. And good defense by Bacon here. 35 seconds to go, third quarter. Wigan. Jerry Wigan got his first two-pointer. And Roger Bacon again gets it across midcourt against the pressure. This is Mike Morrissey surrounded. Gets it to Rob Niehoff, baseline into Noli, and he is fouled by Wigan. That's a bit of a mismatch there. Terry Wigan, who goes 5-6. Trying to defend against the 6-3 Bruce Noley. Well, they got caught on a switch there, and Wigan moved in and picked up his second foul, and going to the line will be Bruce Noley. I'll tell you, all of a sudden, while well, Wigan's going out now, we're getting some new faces back in. Blanks is coming in. But the Magics are uh, getting a little spark right here. The wand is working for them, maybe, and uh, they're trying to get back in this ballgame. They only trail by eight. Jack Reynolds, the Barberton coach, has been shuffling people in and out all day, trying to get some more favorable matchups inside and he has not succeeded. Here is Noli missing the front end of the one plus one, but the rebound comes to Niehoff again. There are 12 seconds left in the third quarter, an eight point Roger Bacon lead. Here is Morrissey as they work for one shot. Here's Schildmeyer missing, rebound, Noli lost it in traffic. And that's the end of the third quarter of play in this AAA championship game. Roger Bacon, 48, Barberton, 40. We'll continue in just a moment. Now, from the other side of midnight comes a new Kawasaki. A Kawasaki with a heart of pure black gold. This is the Kawasaki Spectre. Shaft-driven and powered by the famous Z. The incredible engine that built the Kawasaki legend. Feel the power. Taste the glory. Kawasaki Spectre. Move up or move over. Now you can have money market yields without sacrificing banking conveniences with Centrifund from Central Trust. Offering a choice of general money market, government securities, or tax-exempt funds. Plus unlimited check writing and total withdrawal privileges. An optional line of credit free OWL and MasterCard service, and each month, a single combined statement of all your banking and money fund activity. Centra Fund, high yield investments, banking conveniences. We'd say the case is closed. At halftime, Ohio High School basketball coaches gave its most prestigious award, the Paul Walker Award. Paul is a legend in Ohio high school basketball career. He had 696 victories. And the 1982 winner was Marv McCollum of Hamilton High School. Marv is home sick in bed. And accepting for him this afternoon was his son, Marvin Jr., and his son-in-law, Larry Allen. So it was quite a prestigious award to Marv McCollum, the Hamilton, former Hamilton High School coach. There's the stats. The Spartans on top, 57-30. That's the third quarter stats. So Roger Bacon again wins the opening tip here in the fourth quarter. They have an eight-point lead in this AAA championship game, and the Spartans can smell that victory. They've never won a state title, and the last time they were here in a state final game was in 1939, 43 years ago. Got a foul inside. Bruce Noley will go to the line. Rob Mullet was the man, the culprit that time. There's Rob shaking his head. Let's watch it now. If uh, Rob gets a little aggressive, there's no doubt that's a good call. He was right on top of it, reaching in good body contact. Well, not good body contact, but enough for the foul as going to the line is Bruce Noley. First foul shot off the front rim, and Barberton down with a rebound. It is Todd Onisek up the floor, giving it to Ondecker, who's back in at point guard. Out top for Reynolds. Jack Reynolds can't hit from outside. Rob Mullen with a rebound. And the rebound to Niehoff. 
a fake and he loses it inside. Here's Anasik trying to stuff it back in. And he is fouled in the act of shooting. And that will be the fifth team foul on Roger Bacon. The foul is on Schumeyer right there. And that, I do believe, is number three against Greg. Waiting to double check, it is three against Greg Schildmeyer. As the Magic's very aggressive perseverance down there that time as they really went after the rebound. This will be a two-shot foul for Anasek, but both teams now are in the bonus. Down the stretch in the fourth quarter, Anasek misses for the first time from the line. He is now four for five. Just underway in the fourth quarter, Roger Bacon with an eight-point lead. Todd Anasek. Looking for his fifth point, and he gets it. And again, Barberton has to go full court pressure. Long lead pass, Morrissey. And he traveled, apparently. Bob Callahan wants a timeout to talk things over. So there is a timeout on the floor. Our score, Roger Bacon, 48, Barberton, 41. And one of our... One of our... Well, we'll... One of our network sponsors is the Calm Ag Research. There's my buddy's pizza, like Godfather's pizza. It's a pizza you can't refuse. There's my buddy's pizza, like Godfather's pizza. Come on, start spreading the news. The talk is so thick, it's incredible. The crust is so tenderly edible. Hey. You don't agree mine's the best pizza you ever tasted. I'll be glad to offer you some uh, encouragements. If you've been waiting for John Deere lawn and garden equipment to go on sale, now's your big chance. Because right now, participating John Deere dealers are having their annual down-to-earth value day sale with savings of from 40 cents to over $400. But you'd better hurry. The sale ends May 31st. And with savings like that, you won't want to let any grass grow under your feet. Down-to-earth value days at your participating John Deere dealer. Back at St. John's Arena, Ohio State University in Columbus. It's 48-41, 7.25 left to go. The Barberton Magics trying to find some magic right now to pick up a seven-point deficit with 7.25 left to go. There's a look at Jack Grenells, the veteran coach of Barberton. He's won one state championship in 76. He was runner-up in 1977. This team that he has this year, though, does not have as much raw talent as those earlier Barberton teams, but they certainly have a lot of heart. They are extremely hardworking and scrappy. Here's Otisic with a jumper. Won't go. Rebound, Schildmeyer. Well, Schildmeyer has really been tough on the boards. Here's Rick Beerman up the floor, left-hand dribble, lost the dribble now. He gets it on the high post to Noli, who came out to help out. Here's Mike Morrissey. Off for Rob Niehoff, who's had an excellent game. Now to Beerman, who shot well from the outside. He penetrates. He tried to go low. The ball batted back. It is loose, and Niehoff flags it down. What tremendous effort out there. Loose ball on the floor. Morrissey. He comes off with it. Here's Schildmeyer now. Back out top to Morrissey. They swing it to Beerman. Across the zone. They give it to Schildmeyer. He scores. And that is 18 points. That's just good basketball. Leading up the clock, controlling loose balls, and then getting two out of it. So Barberton will have to throw up shots in a hurry, and Todd Anasek does just that. Anasek using that screen nicely on the jumper. It's 50-43. Roger Bacon by seven. Morrissey lost the ball, and we've got a foul as he was surrounded by three of the Barberton Magics, and they made a sandwich out of him. Look at that. It is on Richard Sims. And Reynolds not very happy with the call at all. You can tell there. There is Chuka Jack. He says, what's wrong with offense? What's wrong with an offensive call? Jack Reynolds, he's been around Barberton High School for quite a number of years. This is his 12th season as a coach at Barberton. Overall, his record, 231 and 49. That's about an 80% uh, winning percentage, if you will. This is Mike Morrissey hitting the first of a one plus one. That gives Morrissey five points on the game. 
We have 6-12 remaining in the fourth period. Roger Bacon leads it by eight. We've got nine points. It is 52-43, and there's that tough defense by Shieldmeyer again. He better be careful, though. He picks up his fourth foul, and he would be in trouble. He is just so aggressive. They need him down the final minutes here in this ballgame for sure. There's got to be a Division I school around Cincinnati. I'm talking UC. I'm talking Miami, who could use Greg Shieldmeyer. I can't believe anybody could use him. And that was Schildmeyer, I believe, blocking that baseline shot, but uh, Rob Niehoff stepped on the baseline, and Barberton will get it back. And they put it in play right in front of their cheering section. Here is Ondecker with a jump from the corner. It falls short. Sims with a follow. Yes! It is Richard Sims with 16 points. And back come the Roger Bacon Spartans. And they use the pass effectively to crack the press. Boy, they play intelligent basketball. Out top for Beerman. He gets it. Oh, oh no, a backdoor basket. Great and pass. Great assist by Beerman. That's eight points for Noli, and they went for the easy shot and got it. Here is Sims going one-on-one. -on -one. Schildmeyer blocked it. And Sims with the jump hook follow. Richard Sims with 18, and Schildmeyer blocked it once, but Sims got his own board. We have 5-10 to play. And it's a seven-point Roger Bacon lead, and this thing is getting hectic, Omar. Uh -oh. Another backdoor play to Rob Niehoff. And Niehoff has 14, and that's well above his average. Here is Anasek with a jumper. Yes, he is fouled. He will shoot one. And Morrissey gets the personal. So Anasek is really heated up here. Reynolds again talking to his ball players over there as he uh, substitutes quite freely. David Blanks wants to come in. Blanks apparently, I think the man coming out will be on a second made the field goal. He's going to be replaced over there by Jack Reynolds, Jack's son. Blanks coming in and going out of the ball game is Rob Mullet. Reynolds has uh, used his bench very, very wisely, whereas Bob Callahan uh, simply doesn't have a bench to use. This is Todd Onasek. He scored six points, make that seven points here in the fourth quarter. And he'll try to make it eight. He misses the three-point play. The follow comes off to Smart. He missed the shot. The ball on the floor. Jim Smart has his shot blocked. But they call a foul on Neha. And this one is getting wild. Very, very physical under the basket that time. Let's watch it again. He said no place for boys. Well, I'll tell you, these boys are men. Watch them turn around. Now watch this one here as they go up. Big struggle for it. Arms, legs, masses. Foul is on Niehoff, his third. So six foot two inch senior Jim Smart goes to the line shooting a pair with 4.49 to play. And Smart gets the first. That makes it 56-50. This is the closest Barberton has been in quite a while. Second foul shot good. It's a five point ball game. And again, the full court pressure, and it might be telling a bit on Roger Bacon now. They might be getting tired. They only play five players, and we've got a foul on Wygant against Schildmeyer. And little Wygant is not afraid to take on the bigger guys. Terry knew he fouled. He got a little aggressive. We'll take a look at it again. He and Schildmeyer. It's Terry coming in from the side, reaching in, and uh, no doubt about it. Whistle blows just about here, and Schildmeyer goes down, and he will go to the line. That's his third, third foul on Wigand. So Greg Schildmeyer, who scored 18, has a key one and one, and he makes the first. That gives him 19. It's a six-point lead for Bacon with 4.44 to play. And Schildmeyer gets my vote for MVP in this tournament. And the second one down for Schildmeyer. Give him 20. And that is four above his average. 58-51, and Barberson has to put up shots in a hurry. Here's Reynolds. And he is long with that one. He's had trouble on that corner jump all day. Great, great, great hustle by Beerman to save it as Roger Bacon moves it down the floor. Off to Schildmeyer, and an offensive foul on Greg Schildmeyer as he bumped into Richard Sims, and that's four fouls on Schildmeyer. I imagine he'll stay right in the ballgame, though. Great 
There's the foul here. Watch Schildmeyer. One of those excuse me fouls, but the, no doubt about it. Good call. Number four again, Schildmeyer. Fiberton with the ball down by seven. Sims off the glass. The follow by Blanks. And Beerman comes up with a loose ball for Bacon. Great dribbling display through traffic. He hands off for Morrissey. They go to Noli. Low post. Good fake. He is fouled by Blanks. A moment ago, Andy, Bob Callahan turned to the Roger Bacon student body and says, let's yell, let's have some noise for these guys. Going to find it again, coming in. Here's Noli, Blanks going up. Little body goes up the fake and then catches him right there on the arm. He'll get two. Another view of it. Uh, Roger Bacon very strong across the front line with Schildmeyer, Niehoff, and Noli. They don't have any 6'9 or 6'10 players, but they're all strong and they know how to position themselves. As Noli picks up his ninth point. Hitting the front end of a two-shot foul. The second one is in the air and off the back rim. No good. Eight-point lead. 59-51. Roger Bacon under four minutes to go in the fourth period. Out top, here's Jim Smart. Well, see, that's what they got to do, shake a man loose. They've been taking some bad shots. That was a good shot, and it can. That's 10 for Jim Smart, the senior, playing his final high school basketball game. Down to 340 to go. And they're going to try to double-team the ball as Barberts, and it's stolen by Smart. What a play by Smart on the high post man. Off to Richard Sims, penetrating. We've got a foul on Morrissey as he reaches in behind. And that is Mike Morrissey's fourth personal. So Schildmeyer and Morrissey of Roger Bacon each have four fouls. Well, it just shows how ball club we're picking up here as Morrissey fouls. But a ball club like Barberton is going to create some fouls on their own, and that's just exactly what they're doing here this afternoon. And there is a timeout on the floor. So there's a break. There's a break in the action. It's 59-53. Roger Bacon will continue in just a minute. Hamsat. Hamsat Sound Center has it all together now. Celebrate the coming of the green by saving your green now at Hemset. Sony Walkman 1, the heavyweight, lightweight that lets you take the music anywhere. Fantastic stereo through Featherlight phones. Green tag now at only $99.95. Sony and Hemset, helping you save greenbacks at all locations. Hemset, Hemset Sound Center has it all together now. Let's get cracking, Tony. Introducing the 1982 edition of the best-selling car in the world, the Toyota Corolla. Why is it the best-selling car in the world? Maybe people know that they can depend on it, and that gives them a very good feeling. The 1982 Toyota Corolla. Depend on it. Corolla! Three minutes and 31 seconds left to go... Three minutes and 31 seconds left to go in this ball game. It is 59 to 53. At the line will be Richard Sims. An interesting note, we talked about Rob Niehoff. You know, he is a senior. He did not play his first three years at Roger Bacon, just in his senior year. Here is Sims. He hits the first free throw. And Richard Sims has 19 points for the Barberton Magics. As they are back within five, they've trailed by as many as 13 here in the second half. Second one good. And so Barberton is within four points at 59-55. Again, that ever-present full-court pressure. They get it to Morrissey. He brings it over the timeline. Mike Morrissey, number 25. Off to Beerman. His running way to guard. Now they go low to Schildmeyer. We have 315 to play. Up top for Morrissey. They swing it to Rob Niehoff. They go baseline. Deep water shot. Holy mackerel, it's Beerman from 22. I can't believe Bob Callahan wanted him to take that shot. Oh, he kicked the ball there. You know, Morrissey and Schillhouse both playing with four fouls, Andy, and they've got to be careful because their bench just has not been able to come up with the front five this year. So Beerman hits that deep water shot, give him 12 points, and all six of his field goals have come from the 20 to 22 foot range. Here's Sims! And he leans in and scores from 14, Richard Sims. And he's got 22 points now. It's 61-57 with 2.40 to play. 
And this is boiling down to a great finish. Here's Fearman driving the basket. And he is fouled on his way to the hoop by Anasek. Boy, is this little kid playing ball. Fearman kind of taking charge. As you pointed out before, he's not a very big guy. He's only 5'10", and he weighs about 145 pounds. But he's been just great handling the ball. And he has scored himself 12 points. He's only averaging about five ball points a ball game. So it's a critical one plus one for Rick Fearman. And he missed the front end, and Smart gets the rebound. Off to Ondecker. Across the timeline for Richard Sims. Sims dishes off to Ondecker. Yes, he got it. It is Todd Ondecker to make it a two-point ball game. And Roger Bacon turns the ball over against the press. A traveling violation against Morrissey. I think that's all for my... And if they call the foul here, hold on. Yes, against Morrissey. It is 61-59, Roger Bacon. Morrissey has fouled out. He got the pass turned in and went right into the defensive man, and the big guy is coming in right now, Don Hossfeld. So Don Hossfeld will come off the Bacon bench. Mike Morrissey fouls out, and that means that Greg Schildmeyer will move back to a guard. Player control foul, so they'll bring it in, but with a chance, a field goal behind, and they want a timeout. So there is a timeout on the floor. And we'll keep it right here with... Well, there's a good look at the Barberton fans. They're yelling, we're number one. So far, they're awfully close to it. Roger Bacon and Barberton, two minutes and 19 seconds away, at least in regulation time, to determine the AAA champion here in the state of Ohio. This is just what we expected, a very tight game right down to the final seconds. These two clubs have played very close basketball all through the tournament. In fact, uh, Barberton, in its last four games, those four games have been decided by a total of nine points. And Roger Bacon, in their last three, those three have been decided by a total of five points. During the third quarter, when they were down 13 points, I made a comment about they better look out. They got to put their act together or they'll be blown out. Jack Reynolds called a timeout. The ball came, club came back in, kept pecking away, and right now they are in possession of the ball, a field goal away to tie up Roger Bacon, who has been in front all the time. We've got 219 left in regulation, and I say regulation because overtime is always a possibility when two teams are as evenly matched as these are. Boy, it's been Barberton coming from behind all day long, just like they did in their semifinal victory over Toledo Scott yesterday. Barberton won on a final last-second shot by Richard Sims yesterday, and uh, Roger Bacon won on a last-second shot by Bruce Noley. So it's a two-point lead for Bacon. They've been up by as many as 13. Jim Smart! And it's a tie basketball game! Jim Smart! And that's the second one he's hit in the last couple of couple of minutes. It is tied up and they turn the ball over. Barberton with the basketball. He walked, no doubt about it. David it is Blank. David Blank's traveling after picking up that loose pass. And it's tied at 61. Aiken with the ball, they get it into Beerman. Beerman, their only really legitimate ball handler left with Morrissey fouled out. And they move Schildmeyer back to a wing now to help with the ball handling. Here's Beerman. Trying to waste some time on the clock. Beerman picks up the ball off to Schildmeyer. Schildmeyer driving. Gets it to Noli. He travels. He hesitated. He had the shot, but he hesitated. Walked with the ball and a turnover. Gives the ball to the Magics. You can hear Bob Callahan yelling, go man to man, go man to man. It is tied at 61 with a minute 30 to play in the fourth quarter. Ondecker almost turned it over. Across for Smart. Here's Todd Onisek. He goes one on one, a scoop layup. He missed it. And he is fouled as he took it to the basket. Don Hosfeld, the big guy, moved in, got him with a body check. His first foul, and Barberton. I think for the first time in this ballgame, just about can take the lead. 
Well, Vibrance had led 12 to 9, I should say. Aiken led 12 9 after one period, 28 23 after two, and 48 40 after three quarters. I don't think Vibrance has had the lead until right now. What a comeback for the Magics of Vibrance. They trailed by 13 at one juncture here in the fourth quarter. And now they lead by one. Anasik makes it a two-point lead. Todd Anasik and Jim Smart have led this comeback for Vibertson. Here is Rick Beerman in the backcourt. He is, he travels, he turned the ball over. And Beerman can't believe it, he thought he was tripped. And so Vibertson gets the basketball back with a two-point lead. And a minute 17 to go, and Bob Callahan, the, the Bacon coach, is living. Bacon playing man to man, and we've got a turnover on the part of Ondecker. Ondecker, he turned the ball over on the dribble. And Roger Rick, Bacon gets another life here. Rick Behrman thought he was fouled down there, and then he created the turnover here. The little kid is playing a well of a big basketball game. But they trail by two in 109. So Beerman brings it up the floor against Von Decker, man to man. Into the corner for Hausfeld. Out top for Schildmeier. Schildmeier feeds it for Rob Niehoff. 55 seconds, the ball loose on the floor. Beerman scoops it up for Roger Bacon. It is a two point Viberton lead. Out top to Schildmeier, looking low. He gives it to Niehoff. Now Schildmeier off a of pick. He is cut off on the baseline. For Beerman. Beerman can't get it inside. Here's Schildmeyer going baseline. Schildmeyer, a spinning move, a jumper. He missed it. Here's Noli with a follow. And Bruce Noli ties it at great, 63. Great move by Schildhauser. Shot was off, but Noli was there. 18 seconds to go. The clock running. 63 63. Fiberton with the ball. Here is Ondecker, one on one against Beerman. Off to Adesek, inside, layup, don't go! And we got a travel! Against Fiberton. Oh, that basket almost fell in, but the turnover would have wiped it out anyway. It is eight seconds to go. And time and time again, Roger Bacon has won these games in the last second. 63, 63, seven seconds. Up Callahan the floor, wanted comes a timeout. Beerman. And now we've got a timeout called by Schildmeyer. He wanted a timeout with eight seconds, and they didn't see him, and nobody saw him. He was yelling, timeout, timeout. He wanted to get the ball across. They took four seconds, and they've still got it way down at the other end of the floor, Andy. They've got a lot of work to do, but that travel call down there really hurt the Magic Ball Club. There is Jack Brennels diagramming his defense as Roger Bacon has the ball and a chance for a last second shot with four ticks left on the clock in regulation and we're tied at 63 and Bacon has won their last two games in this tournament Omar on last second shots they beat the Cincinnati Moeller in the regional final 54-53 and they beat Lima Senior on a last second shot here in the semifinals. So they're used to this type of situation. Well, that's the way Barberton won their ball game against Toledo Scott, the big long 25 footer at the buzzer. We've got four seconds left to go, but we could be very, very close to going into an overtime game. Well, there have been only, there have been five overtime games in class AAA championships in the past over the last 60 years, only five games have gone to overtime in AAA. Apparently there's never been any in AAA ball. There's no, there never has been one in AAA. All right. Okay, a little miscommunication. We apologize. <laughs> but there has never been an overtime game in class AAA, and this may be the first. Go get him, Andy. Four seconds. 63-63. And Bacon has about 80 feet to go. Here's Noli inbounding to Beerman. Beerman in traffic, throws up a prayer. It is an air ball, and we we'll go to overtime. We got one now. This will be the first overtime game ever in Class AAA. There have been, uh, what, five in AA and four in single A in the past, but never before in AAA. Okay, we'll continue in just a moment. from the 
other side of midnight comes a new Kawasaki. A Kawasaki with a heart of pure black gold. This is the Kawasaki Spectre. Shaft driven and powered by the famous Z. The incredible engine that built the Kawasaki legend. Feel the power. Taste the glory. Kawasaki Spectre. Move up or move over. Now you can have money market yields without sacrificing banking conveniences with Centra Fund from Central Trust. Offering a choice of general money market, government securities, or tax-exempt funds. Plus unlimited check writing and total withdrawal privileges, an optional line of credit, free OWL and MasterCard service, and each month a single combined statement of all your banking and money fund activity. Centra Fund. High yield investments. Banking conveniences. We'd say the case is closed. St. John's Arena, overtime, three minutes. Roger Bacon, Barberton, the first time ever. Overtime for AAA High School State Championship. Greg Both ball clubs are tired. Greg Schildmeyer will jump at center with David Blanks, and Schildmeyer playing with four fouls. Roger Bacon without one of their starters, and Mike Morrissey, he is fouled out of this game. So they're going with a larger and somewhat slower lineup. And Barberton gets the tap. This is Jim Smart, who is one of the architects of that Barberton comeback. And the Magics of Barberton trailed in the ball game by 13 points in one juncture in the fourth quarter, and they've come back to tie it at 63-63. In fact, it was Roger Bacon who had to tie it on a basket by Bruce Noly in the late going. And it looks like Barberton will spread it out all over the floor now. They might walk it right down to a final shot. They're going to look for something easy back door inside. And if they don't get it, they'll just hold on to the basketball and take the air out. As Barberton will spread it all over the floor. This is Todd Onisik, who played very well in the fourth quarter to help the comeback for Barberton. Out top for Todd Ondecker, on the wing for Onisik. As Barberton will play it very deliberately. Here's Onisik. Oh, that shot was well out of his range. And I'm sure that... Coach Jack Reynolds would like to, I don't know what he'd like to do at the moment, but it wouldn't be pleasant. Here's Roger Bacon with the ball for the first time in the OT. They get it baseline, Schildmeyer gets it out top again. 63-63, Bierman off the house foul. He missed it, Noli with a follow, but there's a foul before the, before the rebound basket by Noli. It was on David Blanks. It is his fourth, and at the line is the big guy, Don Hosfeld. Well, he's got a lot of weight on his big shoulders right now. Hosfeld very seldom gets a chance to shoot free throws, except in practice, of course, and he misses the first. It is 63 to 63, 139 left to go in the overtime. Here's Terry Wigand coming back in for Ondecker at the point guard for Barberton. Boy, Barberton has just fought their way right back into this game. And they have forced the overtime. Here's Hausfeld. Second foul shot is no good. And the rebound goes to Jim Smart. Boy, these three-minute overtimes in a high school ball go by in a hurry. I'm used to the five minutes in college basketball. Oh, they threw it away. It Sims is, threw it away. It is Richard Sims trying to hit Onisek cross court, and he fired it away. Yeah, I'm used to those five-minute OTs in college. In fact, we did a seven-overtime game, the University of Cincinnati against Bradley this year. Here's Beerman over the timeline for Bacon. Well, I'll tell you, as long as you've got the ball, you can't lose, and they've got it right now. It is Spearman going low for Noli, and a foul is called on Jim Smart. There's Bob Callahan, the Roger Bacon coach, looking on. Official scorer says that's five on Smart. Jim Smart apparently is out of the ball game. He doesn't. He thinks he's only got four. We've only got four for him. I tell you, we've only got four. I think it's only four. Yes. Got a little debate going on at the official scorers table. It is not five, it is only four. They held up the wrong sign, the scorers bench. 
So it's 63-63. We've had no scoring in the overtime. A minute 10 to play in the first OT. Bob Callahan smiling at John Carr said, well, I thought they held up five, and apparently they did, but he's got a smile on his face. There's the gentleman now holding up four. He did hold up five. So Bruce Noley, the 6'3 senior, goes to the line. He has scored 11, and he makes it. And Roger Bacon has the first point of the overtime as Noley will try to give them a two-point edge. It is good! And it's 65-63, Roger Bacon with a minute five to go. In overtime number one in this AAA championship game, Odisic driving the baseline. Odisic in traffic, scores! What a shot by Todd Odisic! The percentage on that shot was so low, it wouldn't even show up on a calculator. He shot from behind the backboard. Here's Beerman. Beerman gets it in the corner for Noli. Straight away jump. Won't go. Niehoff with a rebound. And Apparently they called a three-second violation on Niehoff. What's the story? It's a turnover. I think he was moving with the ball and wasn't putting it on the floor. That's why I got to turn over. He might have shuffled his feet. Then Barberton will get a chance to end this thing now. 65-65. 39 seconds in overtime number one. Good pressure put on by Bacon. They've got Wygant and an offensive foul on Terry Wygant. What a job of trapping the ball, the ball handler there. Jack Reynolds is not praying, but he's on his knees over there. That'll be a player control foul. There'll be no shooting, but they'll bring it in. There it is, as he tried to get the ball away. Rick Behrman was the guy who took the charge. 36 seconds left. And this thing keeps seesawing back and forth. Now Roger Bacon with a chance to end it. Here is Gilmire Airball. And a foul by Smart underneath against House Foul. And that is foul number five on Jim Smart, who has played a tremendous second half. He scored 10 points in the second half and 12 points total. And that is the end of his high school career. Well, he had to get aggressive. Schildmeyer came in, tried to take the shot, and then the big guy, Hausfeld, who missed two before, got the rebound, and he was fouled. He gets the one and one. Here is Hausfeld, who's 0 for 2 from the line. He doesn't play much, and he gets the first. And he earns the bonus. Six foot five inch junior Don Hausfeld, who is the sixth man on this Roger Bacon team, has given them a one point lead. Second foul shot is good. Hausfeld gets a couple. 30 seconds left. Two point lead for Bacon. Barberton with the ball. Here's Sims. His shot is blocked, and the rebound goes to Hausfeld. Hausfeld ahead for Schildmeyer. Barberton's going to have to foul. And they have taken a foul. Let's see who goes to the line. It'll be Schildmeyer or Beerman. Probably Schildmeyer to shoot. Sixty-seven, sixty-five. Roger Bacon by a couple. And they can smell that triple-A title. Sims got the foul only in second, but that's academic now at the line. The big guy who's been tough. Up and in. It is Greg Schildmeyer scoring the front end of the one plus one. Give him 21 points. And a timeout has been called as Barberton will try to ice the shooter here. There is a break in the action in the first overtime and we'll continue in just a minute. side of midnight comes a new Kawasaki. A Kawasaki with a heart of pure black gold. This is the Kawasaki Spectre. Shaft driven and powered by the famous C. The incredible engine that built the Kawasaki legend. Feel the power. Taste the glory. Kawasaki Spectre. Move up or move over. No. 
now you can have money market yields without sacrificing banking conveniences with Centrifund from Central Trust. Offering a choice of general money market, government securities, or tax-exempt funds. Plus unlimited check writing and total withdrawal privileges. An optional line of credit. Free OWL and MasterCard service. And each month, a single combined statement of all your banking and money fund activity. Centrifund. High yield investments. Banking conveniences. We'd say the case is closed. She manages a bit of a smile, but her team trails by three with 17 seconds left. In the first overtime, Bacon's Greg Schildmeyer gets the, the tail end of the one plus one. It's a four-point lead with 14 seconds left. Fiberton down the floor, Sims an air ball, and a foul inside on Schildmeyer, and that is number five on Greg Schildmeyer. And what a game he has played. The six foot three inch senior from Roger Bacon leads the game with 22 points. And he just hit those two free throws to give his team a four point lead at 69 65. Now Barberton will have a chance to cut that in half. So Bacon has lost both Mike Morrissey and Greg Schildmeyer to fouls. And the new Bacon player in the game is number 31, Adrian Breen. This will be his first action. It is Richard Sims at the line. He has scored 22. He's shooting one plus one, and he's got to make them. The first is good. Uh, Sims may be the best one-on-one -on -one offensive player in this tournament, at least in AAA. Give him 24 points. It is a two-point lead at 69-67. Bruce Moley inbounding for Bacon, and he calls a timeout just in time. So 11 seconds remain, 69-67. Roger Bacon in this seesaw swing of emotion game has a two-point lead, and they're 11 ticks of the clock away from a AAA championship and the first basketball title in the history of their school. As we look at Bob Callahan in his third year as coach of the Roger Bacon Spartans, he's won 50 games. A former player at Elder High School in Cincinnati under Paul Fry, one of the best strategic coaches in Ohio high school basketball. Callahan making notes on a little pad of mini basketball courts that he holds. He has cards with the basketball court on them, and he's diagramming a play for his players. You'll notice that the Bacon huddle is out in the middle of the floor. As Callahan says, if he curses, he doesn't want any of the fans to hear him. So he moves his huddle out away from the sidelines. I don't think you'll hear too many of the nasty words from Bob Callahan. He's quite a gentleman, and he's just had tremendous success this year with a Roger Bacon team that was probably rated to finish maybe only third in their own league in Cincinnati. And there's Jack Grenells who has brought his team to the state finals for the third time in the last seven years. 69-67, 11 seconds left, full court pressure on the part of Barberton. Noli gets it in for Beerman. Beerman trapped in the corner, and he's stolen by Anasek, but a foul is called on Todd Anasek of the Barberton Magics. foot 11 inch 150 pound Rick Beerman a senior will go to the line with a, a chance to ice the state championship for the Roger Bacon Spartans boy Beerman has put on a great display of outside shooting he scored 12 all on long range jumpers and this will be Beerman's first trip to the line he's shooting one plus one with eight seconds to go and Bacon leading Barberton by two Shot is up, no good! Eight seconds left, it's stolen by Noli. Noli stole the ball, and another foul by Byberton. Oh, Rick Beerman missed the front end of the one plus one, but Noli bailed out his teammate by intercepting the outlet pass on the part of Byberton. 
Boy, it's been one of those afternoons where the momentum... <laughs> Ernesto and uh, Tony. Annie? I want to room with Joe. Annie, you and the girls will room with me. All right. Uh, Harold and uh, Julio. I ain't staying alone, Julio. He always makes me bump in the furniture. If you could see, you wouldn't bump in the furniture. I can see, I just can't see furniture. I want to sleep with Linda because she snores and keeps me and Dakota away. At well, least I don't talk in my sleep. Hey, uh, I like, oh, my key, please, Miss Perry. I like to go to my room, I like to, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's enough. I want you all to go to the bus and get your things. And I want you all to behave like young adults. If you behave any differently, I'll be very disappointed in you. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, Miss Perry, what time are we leaving in the morning? Can I have the key to my room, please? There are no more rooms available in the motel, Mr. Brax. You will have to sleep in the back of the bus. In the bus? you got to be joking. I'm sure you'll be quite comfortable. But there's no shower. There's no bed and there's no TV on the bus. Mr. Braxton, I think it would be marvelous if you just read a book for a change. Marvelous, my ass. I ain't sleeping on no goddamn bus! What did you say? I am not sleeping on no goddamn... Bus! I'm not sleeping on no bus! I am not sleeping on no bus! Mr. Braxton? Then why are you sleeping on the floor? I got a trip Isn't the back seat big enough for you? And I put it over the pillow and I couldn't... Listen, never mind. Listen, we're in trouble. Three of the boys have just run off. Great. Maybe the rest of them will run away. No, come on. You don't understand what I'm saying. I need you to get up and come look for them for me. I ain't no truant. I ain't going to chase no damn kids. I drive the bus. What did you say? I said I am no truant, officer. I drive the bus. You wouldn't do a damn thing to help those children, would You're you? You're swearing... Never mind. Nobody. Nobody would tell you. 